ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है कि लहर है ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है मैंने आपको उस दिन भी बताया ये बीजेपी का एक पॉलिटिकल प्रोग्राम है इसमें उन्होंने नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने वहाँ पे मतलब पूरा फंक्शन किया शो किया वो सब ठीक है अच्छी बात है मगर हमारी क्लैरिटी है हमारा क्या प्रोग्राम है हमने आपसे बोला पांच पांच न्याय देश को मजबूत बनाने के लिए ये हमारा प्लान है और ये हम आपके सामने रखते हैं Good evening ladies and gentlemen as you just heard Rahul Gandhi has wrote that there is no Ram Mandir way as you all know for the last 5 days i was uh, on the banks of uh, saryu in the holy city of ayodhya i saw a wave there i don't know you i'm sure you've heard from people i'm hearing a lot of uh, things good things and uh, you know ram ram and uh, restoration and reclaiming of the hindu civilization those conversations happening in every nook and corner uh you also saw the coverage of the pran pratishtha and uh, i've seen i've seen people sending me videos of how people have got this pran pratishtha going on in a tv screen and they're sitting and actually praying with tears flowing down their uh, their cheek that's what i witnessed was history created as i stood there immersed in the divinity of lord ram i realized that sabke ram is perhaps the biggest equalizer the biggest legends of india inc uh, a bevy of stars from the film industry and the most notable sports icons and legal luminaries were all there they all came together with their heads bowed and hands folded in ram's darbar they waited like all other ram devotees patiently for a glimpse of lord ram but for mr rahul gandhi he doesn't see a lehar anywhere on the first day alone uh, 5 lakh devotees offered darshan at the temple to ensure everyone gets a glimpse of their beloved ram the administration had to extend the timings for the devotees till 11 pm because the sea of people refused to just go away without their darshan but rahul gandhi can't see this lehar from parsis to muslims members of all faiths came together to celebrate the pran pratishtha of ram lala and from tribals to dalits to obcs people of every caste creed every hue and every community rejoice but for mr rahul gandhi he cannot see a wave a lehar anywhere hear these voices from across the world which have been brought together by ram and you the viewer decide for yourself is there a ram lehar or not मैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया से आया हूँ यहाँ पे सिर्फ तीन दिन के लिए आया हूँ ये एक बहुत हिस्टोरिक मोमेंट है अपने भारत के लिए एक नया भारत एक रामयुग अभी शुरू होने वाला है इसलिए एक बहुत अंदर से चाह थी आई थी कि मुझे यहाँ पे आना है even recent times yesterday also i have seen in some news channels that heavy rush is here and darshan people are facing lot of problems but today if you see this is third darshan for me i am ramesh i am from telangana i am state convener not facing any problems in doing no, that no no problem at all ek do saal aur is tarah karenge to samajhiye ki ye ram mandir to baniye gaya gyan papi bhi krishna ka bhi ban jayega is tarah karte rahe pura ram mai hai kahi kuch nahi hai sab log ram ka bhakt hai yahan kahi kuch nahi hai kar lenge wo pura ram mai hai jahan se aaye rahul gandhi wahan chale jayenge wo dhongi ram bhakt hai wo होंगी इनको राम भक्त हम बोलते हैं यहाँ पर सब जगह राम लहर है राम की बात बोलिए कली बस जय श्री राम जय मोदी बस बोलिए दूसरा किसी का नाम ही मत लीजिए आप दर्शन तो अमरूज ही हो रहा है दर्शन तो फिर जा रहे हैं पुनः क्योंकि उनके दर्शन से मन ही नहीं भरता है ये नजर ही नहीं हटता है इसी उनकी निगाह है मेरे ठाकुर जी की मेरे राम लला की राहुल गांधी को थोड़ा आके खोलनी चाहिए और यहाँ एक बार आके दर्शन करके और राम लहर का उनको पता चल जाएगा की राम लहर होती क्या है people indians from australia from telangana from bihar from up from madhya pradesh everywhere people were there but rahul gandhi is in denial of the ram lehar he seems to have completely misread the political lehar also which has rocked the india alliance 
Here's how Rahul Gandhi completely misread his own allies. Yesterday, the Gandhi Science said that very soon there will be a breakthrough in the seat-sharing formula with the Trinamool Congress. Today morning, however, Mamta Banerjee pulled the rug out from under the feet of the Congress. Listen in to her declaration that she will finally fly solo in Bengal instead of allying with the Congress party. पे जो हमारा जो हमारा सीट नेगोशिएशन है वो चल रहा है उसका रिजल्ट आएगा कंक्लूजन आएगा बट हमारा ममता जी के साथ मेरा पर्सनल और पार्टी का बहुत अच्छा रिश्ता है हाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा होता रहता है कभी कोई उनका कोई बोल देता है हमारा कोई बोल देता है दिस आर नेचुरल थिंग्स दिस आर नॉट थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब एनी थिंग so mamta banerji and her party not going with rahul gandhi instead Incidentally, ahead of the Rahul Gandhi Yatra entering Bengal tomorrow, his posters have been ripped apart. Congress cadres have blamed the Trinamool Congress for this, while others blame the BJP. So while Mamata Banerjee snapped ties in Bengal, her generals point to the Congress's dismal poll performance and said that the Congress is a liability, not an asset. Meanwhile, the Congress is trying to downplay the snub as a mere. speed breaker in their long journey together listen in for this kind of situation the total responsibility belongs to aicc state unit of congress they are continuously since 2021 assembly election continuously disturbing trinamool congress they are making statements against mamta didi obishek and our leaders they are trying to make a division in non bjp votes so that bjp can get the political profit this is a democratic party there are different voices mamta banerjee is a very senior very respected leader of india not just of west bengal she is a pillar of the india group mr kharge mrs sonia gandhi mr rahul gandhi all are in touch with her they hold her in the highest of regard so there's no question of disrespecting well the congress is not just dumped by the trinamool congress but also by the aam aadmi party while chief minister bhagwant man says that aap is ready to fly solo in punjab sources say that this proposal has been ratified by kejriwal himself listen in to the aap chief minister and how the congress is still confident that all issues will be resolved punjab ne ka hero 2024 mein lok sabha chunav mein आम आदमी पार्टी के पक्ष में तेरह जीरो देखो ये तो उनका काम है ये ममता नहीं नहीं कोई बात नहीं वो हो सकता है कोई उनके साथ बातचीत चल रही हो उस लेवल पे लेकिन पंजाब में हम ऐसा नहीं करने वाले पंजाब में कांग्रेस से मरा जो इंडिया लाइन के पार्टनर्स हैं मैं जानता हूं कि अलग अलग स्टेट्स में चाहे हमारी खुद की हमारी लोकल यूनिट्स हों या क्षेत्रीय दलों की अलग अलग सोच हो सकती है और कहीं ना कहीं गिव एंड टेक हम लोगों को करना पड़ेगा लेकिन जिसने जो कुछ भी कहा होगा मैंने सब देखा सुना है लेकिन मैं ऐसा मानता हूँ कि अंत में सब बैठ के अक्रॉस टेबल बात करेंगे और सारी बातें शॉर्ट आउट हो जाएंगी सीट शेयरिंग से लेकर कैंपेन स्ट्रैटेजी और इंडिया गठबंधन एकजुटता मजबूती से मैदान में उतरेगा वेल नोबडी कैन प्रिवेंट होप फॉर्म रेजिंग ऑन बट फिशिंग इन ट्रबल वॉटर्स द बीजेपी हैज डिक्लेयर दैट अ डिवाइडेड एंड अननेचुरल अलायंस लाइक इंडिया अलायंस कैन नेवर काउंटर द मोदी वेव इन 2024 लिसन इट वेल आई डोंट नो आई एम आई यू शुड आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन दे वेंट आउट ऑन अ भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा and i think uh, they are finding it very difficult to get nyay even amongst the so called indi partners i dot n dot d dot i dot a dot 
ये इंडिया गठबंधन नहीं है ये घमंडी गठबंधन है एक तरफ राम लल्ला की मूर्ति की प्राण प्रतिष्ठा हो रही थी अखंड भारत और एक आत्मनिर्भर भारत की स्थापना हो रही थी दूसरे तरफ असम में लाठिया और पत्थर चल रही थी इंडिया अलायंस हैज ब्रोकन अपार्ट विदाउट द लीडर्स लाइक ममता बनर्जी नीतीश कुमार एंड अखिलेश यादव वट इज इंडिया so let me tell you today on the news are why the congress party is being avoided and abandoned by its own friends here's the news are fact check in 2019 lok sabha polls congress only managed to win two seats while the trinamool congress won 22 in bengal uh, congress couldn't even keep its uh, account open in the assembly elections is that why mamta banerji is uh, dumping the congress across in punjab congress had won 8 seats in 2019 lok sabha polls however by 2021 punjab elections they were reduced to only 18 seats uh, in the assembly the aam aadmi party on the other hand has uh, taken their total up to 92 seats this is why chief minister of punjab bhagwant man doesn't really want a congress uh, alliance in the state in delhi congress which ruled for 15 consecutive years under the sheila dikshit uh, uh, rule today has zero seats in the lok sabha and the assembly trouble is also brewing in kerala with the left and the congress at logger heads here congress performed well in 2019 lok sabha but the left had swept the state polls in 2021 with the congress being a mere bystander congress only managed 21 seats uh, the cpm got 62 seats and cpi got 17 uh, interestingly the bjp has said jo ram ka nahi wo kisi kaam ka nahi is this why today the congress stands isolated So ladies and gentlemen the legitimate question we are asking on the news are tonight is congress losing friends and losing its face that's the question and that's the debate on the other side you're watching the news hour first debate number 1 on times now super prime time Joining the debate tonight Gaurav Bhatia national spokesperson of the BJP Anand Ranganathan author scientist uh, Smita Prakash editor ANI also joining me on the debate Manoj Yadav national spokesperson of the Samajwadi party Ashutosh political analyst Shubhankar Bhattacharya political analyst supports the Trinamool Congress but my first question goes to my friend Tehsin Punawala more holy and more supportive of the congress than the congress itself more than maybe even adhiranjan choudhry uh, so uh, tehsin punawala uh, the car which had many wheels suddenly has uh, wheels coming off uh, by the seconds uh, i i want to ask you how is this car or bus or whatever vehicle you want to call it uh, going to reach the end point uh, because it's not the speed breakers that uh, jay ram ramesh is talking about it's the to the jdu this is what they should do when they listen they do good for this country when they don't listen they only do losses so when they listen good that they have done this second point one interesting fact for you well, before well, we go on uh, to the i i am just too tempted to in, uh, intervene normally i don't but of in course. the opening comment but my no intervention problem. is bhaiya aap bhi 60 saal rahe the 60 years you also governed this country aap de dete The Congress removed a stamp in 1991 on Jan Naik. Yes, the Congress has made mistakes, but the idea of walking on the Jan Naik's path is not just not just to confer the award. That is great that you've confirmed. Do you know any of you should know since you asked this question that uh, his government was dropped in 1979, June 1979, when the Jan Sang objected to the Mungeri Lal Committee report. on obc reservation and when the congress came to power in 1980 they immediately implemented it but now since the bjp is conferred the bharat na will the bjp please be kind enough to tell us and when will the obc caste census be done because the bjp fantastic question the bjp will answer that would you come back to the point and answer the question that i raised about uh, trinamool congress and the aam aadmi party 
So two parts to that question. There is no need, and I've told you this multiple times, I said this on Smita Ji's podcast as well, for an alliance in Punjab. There is absolutely no need for an alliance because whether the Aam Admi Party wins or the Congress wins, even in Kerala, the BJP has no base there, so it doesn't matter. But yet, in West Bengal, there should have been an alliance. I agree that at this point, it doesn't look good for the alliance. I agree. But listen, the BJP, which is today so excited and continuously commenting on it, this is a process. There are speed bumps. There will be negotiations. Congress asks for 10. They want to give two. That is a part of a democratic process. Can the BJP, which is today talking about this, that this India alliance is over, please tell us who is fighting which seats? can ask I want to fight these many seats in Maharashtra can Ajit Pawar say oh. these are the seats I want to fight in Maharashtra you don't know can where your bus is going the there is no driver the in the bus there are no wheels in the bus and you are worried about Nahalika you are worried about the BJP touche I, I really love I your concern worried. for the BJP fantastic uh, Tehsin but before I come to you Gaurav Bhatti I also want to ask Shubhankar Bhattacharya Shubhankar Bhattacharya there's lots of love uh, between the Trinamool Congress and the Congress. Little speed breakers. But Mamta Banerjee is saying that she's going to walk out. And then the Congress responds by saying, we have written a letter. Kharge ji has written a letter. Congre uh, Rahul Gandhi has written a letter. We have both written letters. They're trying to also prove the fact that Mamta Banerjee is lying when she says that she has no idea about uh, the Bharat Jodo Yatra coming. So what's going on? Navika, I can hear the sparkling happiness in your voice and uh, <laughs> and I don't know why you are adding fuel, uh, more fuel to the fire, but there is that a fire is quite unnecessary. Agree. I tell you why. There is because, a fire see, you agree. Uh, <laughs> see, and I'm always no fire. You're just, just adding fuel to <laughs> some... <laughs> it's a, it's a okay, okay, good, good. Good, uh, good for you. Fire but fire Navika, Navika, happy. Navika, why, Navika, why, Navika why, let me come back. Uh, happy. No, no. Okay. So, uh, Navika, now, uh, now, should I answer? Uh, see, when it comes to the seat sharing portion in Bengal, right? We never, we never said that. See, we would come to an agreeable situation. That was a cash 22 position over there because, see, uh, our leaders, they were quite reluctant just because the reason that the fight over there in Bengal, uh, it, it is not similar to something what it is going on in UP or any other places. The reason behind is that we there was a time that when we had 34 seats over there. No doubt we came down to 22 in last election, but despite of the fact that we had certain seats in which the vote margin was even less than 10,000. So it was felt, it was very much felt within the party. Mamta Banerjee, no, no doubt she did try her best to bring in a mutual consensus. But despite of the fact, the thing is that whether we fight a tripolar fight in Bengal, is still it is going to help the uh, India alliance only. So wherever the regional parties are strong, I guess if they even fight over there, it is bringing no harm. Rather, it would help India alliance to go stronger. So I don't know why is it seen that, uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee is dumping India Alliance or uh, Aam Admi Party is dumping India Alliance. Nobody is dumping it. It is a simple formula. It is a simple winning formula. Fantastic. And every leader. See, it Fantastic. is unlike India. Gaurav Bhatia, Gaurav Bhatia, I hope you understand, understood the entire scientific winning. formula here. Winners? India Alliance is alive. India Alliance is alive. We are only just not sharing seats because we think uh, Congress doesn't deserve any seats. But India Alliance uh, is alive, kicking and robust. How do you respond to this kind of uh, euphoria? See, Navika, first of all, I would say that uh, 22nd of Jan was a historic day because there was reclamation of our rich cultural value system. And it was divine, as you rightly said. And we would not be wrong in saying that it was Ram Ka Kaj, as Amit Shah Ji today said. 23rd again turned out to be another event in the series and it was Pichhoroka Kaj. You know, the revered leader, Karpuri Thakurji, forgotten by the opposition. 
got his rightful place when Shri Narendra Modi ji's government decided to confer the Bharat Ratna on him. It could have been done earlier also as you rightly said, 55 years of rule by the Congress party couldn't do it. Same as Sardar Patel ji, who was not conferred the Bharat Ratna for 41 years after his death. Rajiv Gandhi got it the same year after his death. This is the difference. But I would tell you that today, don't say that the Mahathagbandan doesn't have a wheel or a steering. They don't have an engine. They can't compete with the Bharti Janta Party and the NDA. The reason is very clear. Because the Bharti Janta Party is having clarity on its side. Narendra Modi ji is our leader. All the allies also agree on the leadership part. What does the Gamandia offer the people of the country? Do they have a convener? No. Do they have a PM phase? No. Do they have a common minimum program? No. Have they done their seed sharing bit? No. Do they have a logo? They don't. Bhopal rally is cancelled? Yes. And that is why I say Mamta Baji today, she is a very sharp leader too. She knows that, you know, it would not help for her to be part of the Gabandia. Gave them a major jolt and she has decided that I will contest alone. What kind of a Bharat Jodo Yatra is this? When Rahul Gandhi key, can't even keep the flock together. And then the icing on the cake is Bhagwant Man. He makes a declaration too in Punjab. We will fight the elections alone. Today the people are clear in their mind. They want Narendra Modi ji as the prime minister for the third term also. Because he has earned it. On one side we have clarity. On the other side there is confusion. And I would also like to add. Navika, we must not forget that elections are around the corner. And even the Ghamandia partners, like the JDU leader KC Tyagi himself said, BJP is well oiled, is well prepared, they have a plan in place. But the Ghamandia doesn't. And that is because these people are not there to serve the people. They are only there to grab the chair which they will never get back. Well, one minute, I, I, I'll allow counters, but let me get in Smita Prakash. Smita Prakash. Why don't we get a, why don't we get a food say, Gaurav spoke speak for two minutes. I'm just asking you, because we are continuously interrupted. Why is Mr. Bhattacharya or me or even Manoj Bhai not getting a smooth say? Let us also have, he has this, and, and you keep referring to us as Gabandia. We never use this language for the BJP. Okay. Just wondering, Oh, you just said uh, Chokidar Chor hai. Just one question. You just said uh, Bichu. You just said Tehri. You just said, you you just said Okaat Dikha Dekhe. You're, you're the last you're person right. who I'm should I'm object I'm because you know, you know the format of, of my show. And if, if my show doesn't give you time to speak, then no other show in this country no, would. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not thinking of time. I'm thinking of interrupting. I just want to make one point. Ab tumhari Mamta Banerjee se se dosti toot gai. Ye gussa mere pe kyo nikal rahe ho bhai? There is no... But just one point. I agree that we have. I agree that there are people. नहीं अब नहीं कहोगे मंदिर वहीं बनाएंगे तारीख नहीं बताएंगे. Can you say that tonight? मंदिर वहीं बनाएंगे तारीख नहीं बताएंगे. All right. All right. What's your counter? What's your counter, Tehsin? What's your counter? Just ten seconds. Just ten seconds. I agree that we have certain differences. There is no doubt about it. It's public knowledge. At least it's public. Can Mr. Bhatia or the BJP tell us how many seats in the alliance who's fighting? There two people take a decision. Here are where people equal sit together. There is bound to be difference. Of and it's a good thing in democracy. I don't understand okay. why Fantastic. In Whether it's a good can thing I, or not, please, let please, senior journalists please, please, decide please. this. And I'm getting in Smita Prakash. Smita Prakash. Rahul Gandhi can't see a Ram Leher. Tehsin Punawala can't see a problem in the differences between the Trinamool Congress and the Congress. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shubhankar cannot see a problem within the India Alliance. Are they all in denial or are we seeing, uh, you know, ghosts somewhere where none exist? Tehsin keeps talking about democratic exercise. Wonderful. This, what kind of an exercise is this, Tehsin, where you keep exercising and there is like a dieting and there is no weight loss. There is no result visible. When will it be visible? After the election. So this is really ridiculous. You know, I mean, uh, uh, Navika, it's quite clear that the alliance is in tatters. The, 
the fabric was too gossamer anyway for it to last uh, there's nothing holding them together the historical differences and the regional differences have come to the forefront uh, their past history itself has been fractured so for this alliance to work is extremely difficult for example how can you even think that uh, mamta banerjee will work with the left parties you know and here you have rahul gandhi who's led by sitaram yechuri in taking decisions and yogendra yadav so how and if rahul gandhi continues to be led by these people rather than speak with mamta banerjee look at mamta banerjee's track record three term chief minister and you you just leave it uh, you know you you decide to get into her state with your uh, yatra so if rahul gandhi continues to be led by sam petroda yechuri and um, you know uh, these kind of people it's not going to work she she reserves the respect that's and she set the cat among pigeons she was here uh, in december and she said that you know in delhi in december and instead of sitting down and having some kind of a seat sharing they were busy planning the yatra they were busy planning this nyay yatra they have to respect her so she set the cat among pigeons she announced kharge's name as a prime minister candidate without uh, getting an okay from either kharge ji or from sonia gandhi so you know i think things started unraveling in december itself and i think it's come to a head where the congress is really not a player in bengal and the tmc is and the tmc is making it clear even though the tmc and congress you know historically they are center left and secular party parties so called secular parties but the regional aspirations of the uh, tmc will take priority just like uh, in uttar pradesh it will be akhilesh in in uh, kerala pinarayi vijayan is not going to listen to them uh, so the 300 which uh, mamta banerji says that you fight in the 300 other than in uh, bengal where are the 300 who's going to give it not akhilesh uh, and where madhya pradesh one seat chindwara that also kamalnath has lost it there now i don't think the congress will give it so it's it's going to be extremely difficult but the gandhi family is so busy in doing god knows what that nyay yatra where is that going to significantly help in the india alliance well uh, very true and let me get in anand ranganathan anand ranganathan wo hamare yahan kahawat hai na ke thoda sa ghar toota hua hai lekin baki sab theek hai थोड़ी सी छत टपक रही है लेकिन बाकी सब ठीक है बाहर थोड़ा सा एक भूचाल आया था देर आर क्रैक्स इन द ग्राउंड बट बाकी सब ठीक है इज दैट द करंट सिचुएशन इन द इंडिया अलायंस वेर दे कॉन्ट सी द राम लहर दे कॉन्ट सी द प्रॉब्लम विद इन राम लहर में क्या सब कुछ बह गया गुड इवनिंग नाविका एंड गुड इवनिंग टू माई फेलो पैनलिस्ट Uh, you know i i think your uh, the type the topic of the debate is brilliantly worded congress losing friends and face let me deal with both very briefly first the face because i think that's more disturbing than losing friends if at all congress has any but you know talking about face for rahul gandhi to be so nonchalant and be dismissive about saying that uh, ram ki lehar nahi hai as you said ram ke log hain जिनके लोग होते हैं उनकी लहरों की जरूरत नहीं होती एंड लेट मी जस्ट शो यू दिस दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल मैप ऑफ इंडिया बाय ट्वीटेड बाय इंडिया इन पिक्सल्स दीज आर ऑल द टाउन्स दैट बिगिन विद द नेम राम दिस इज फॉर ऑल दोज हु आर सेइंग राम इज अ नॉर्थ इंडियन फिनोमिना और अ वेस्ट इंडियन फिनोमिना जस्ट लुक एट दिस लुक एट द साउथ लुक एट एवरीवेयर राम इज एवरीवेयर राहुल गांधी ये समझ लो भाई and when he saying bjp it was a bjp event modi event what was stopping him from taking part nobody was stopping him why wasn't he and congress people distributing the invitation cards he could have actually wrested the whole control away from the bjp bjp would have lost face with what face bjp would have said no we will not allow rahul gandhi to take part in the thing no but he didn't because they're anti hindu viscerally his great grandfather feared hindu revivalism all of them right from nehru to indira to rajiv to rahul have visited babar's grave they have never visited ram janam sthan so let's be out with it they do not want it they never wanted it and they cannot see the wave they cannot see anything concerning with ram now let me come to friends navika to steal a a a, a proverb and to paraphrase it didi didi to abhi jhaki hai abhi stalin aur akhilesh baki hai <laughs> 
अरे भाई कांग्रेस बट यू नो आई हैव अ सीवियर ऑब्जेक्शन विद माय गुड फ्रेंड गौरव यू नो नॉर्मली इज वेरी काइंड एंड बेनेवलेंट एंड बीजेपी ऑलवेज इज नोन टू गिव और हेल्प आउट पीपल हु आर स्टार कैंपेनर्स ऑफ बीजेपी तो भाई गौरव जी एक दो सीट्स राहुल को दे दो ना इतनी क्या स्टिंजीनेस दिखा रहे हो आप अगर दीदी नहीं दे रही तो आप दे दो आगे बढ़ो सबका विश्वास सबका साथ और सबका विश्वास में कांग्रेस को भी राहुल को भी ज्वाइन कर लो ना नो बट नाविका आर वी सरप्राइज बाय दिस लेट मी जस्ट एंड जस्ट गिव मी थर्टी सेकंड आर वी सरप्राइज बाय दिस दिस वॉज कांग्रेस दैट सेड वी आर गोइंग टू सेव डेमोक्रेसी इन इंडिया दे वर एंटरिंग इन टू अलायंस विद अ पार्टी तृणमूल हुम द कांग्रेस वॉज सेंग हैज एंडेड डेमोक्रेसी इन बेंगाल these are the people who said we will end sectarianism in india they were in alliance with kejriwal's party in punjab whom they were saying are in cahoots with uh, uh, you know khalistani elements and are providing and are promoting sectarianism they are the ones who said we will eradicate terrorism from india and they are the ones who are in alliance with a person stalin who was felicitating the killer of rajiv gandhi ye kaise hota ye alliance was uh, you know flogging a dead horse from the day one now we cup please understand that well uh, gorov quick rebut before i get in manoj yadav yes two quick points uh, you know rahul gandhi denies <coughs> ram ki lehar nahi hai to main bhi itna hi kahunga ye jo rahul ki lehar hai yahi to congress ka kehar hai and lehar kya hoti hai main batata hu navika ji lehar rahul ki ye hoti hai 2014 50 सीट्स 2019 52 सीट्स यूपी में टू सीट्स इन द विधानसभा वन इन द लोकसभा एंड 40 इलेक्शंस लॉस्ट अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ द गांधी परिवार ये होती है लहर तो फिर से कहूंगा ये जो राहुल की लहर है यही तो कांग्रेस का कहर है और ये जब तक सिंगल डिजिट पार्टी नहीं बन जाएंगे नहीं मानेंगे सेकेंड यू नो एलाइज आर सपोज टू प्रेज यू सपोर्ट यू but look at the irony there is a man narendra modi even the opponents are praising him they could not oppose the historic decisions taken by him and i will cite three examples one conferring bharat ratna to karpuri thakur ji nitesh kumar lalu prasad yadav akhilesh yadav rahul gandhi everyone had to welcome it ye inki majboori hai kyunki narendra modi ji desh ke liye zaruri hai second the reservation for the economically weaker class constitutional amendment third women reservation everyone thought it was impossible made possible by narendra modi ji through another constitutional amendment nobody could oppose it such are the ideas such as the commitment of the man called narendra modi ji do you think these people can ever even come close to him the answer is a categorical no thank you well manoj yadav ji मनोज यादव जी आनंद रंगनाथन जी ने बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बात कही कि ममता दीदी तो झांकी है अखिलेश स्टालिन अभी बाकी है तो सीट शेयरिंग में आप कितनी सीटें दे देंगे कांग्रेस पार्टी को क्योंकि देर ऑल्सो कहीं कोई कंक्लूजन तो हुआ नहीं उत्तर प्रदेश में तो पंजाब आउट और बंगाल आउट अब 80 सीटों वाली उत्तर प्रदेश में आपकी पार्टी कितनी सीटें देगी कांग्रेस पार्टी बिल्कुल नविका जी काफ़ी लोगों के सवाल आ गए और उसमें समाजवादी पार्टी का भी नाम आ गया तो मैं उम्मीद करूंगा मुझे थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा समय दे दीजिएगा सबके हिस्से के पंद्रह पंद्रह सेकंड मेरी बात पूरी हो जाएगी देखिए अभी आ, दो कोडिया गठबंधन बीजेपी के प्रवक्ता ने बड़ी बातें कहीं और ऐसी ऐसी बातें कहीं कि कांग्रेस का कहर लेकिन ये कहर गिरेगा बीजेपी पर ये बात बिल्कुल सही परिभाषा आपने दी और इस बात के लिए हम आपको शुक्रिया देते हैं क्योंकि जब कांग्रेस का कहर होता है तो कहर कहीं ना कहीं तो गिरता है किस पे गिर रहा है बीजेपी राम लहर वाली बात बहुत हो गई शुक्रिया देखिए राम लहर तो है ही है लेकिन हाँ शुक्रिया धन्यवाद धन्यवाद हाँ अच्छा शोर नहीं शोर समझ में आ गया होगा ठीक है तो मैं जो बात कह रहा था इसीलिए मैंने आपसे समय मांग लिया था क्योंकि मुझे मालूम था कुछ लोगों को प्रॉब्लम हो समाजवादी पार्टी नहीं होता अच्छा। है समाजवादी पार्टी होता है समाजवादी पार्टी नहीं होता भैया समाजवादी ओके दिस इज दिस इज नॉट अ क्लास ऑन फोनेटिक्स प्लीज कैन वी गेट ऑन विद द रियल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स 
नहीं वो दो कौड़िया दो कौड़िया गठबंधन इसीलिए मैं नविका जी कह रहा था मुझे थोड़ा ज्यादा समय दीजिएगा क्योंकि मुझे कंटिन्यू क्यों आप घमंडिया कह रहे थे तो आपके मुंह से फूल जड़ रहे थे क्या मैंने तो नहीं टोका आपको मैं तो सीधे सीधे कह रहा हूं दो कौड़िया गठबंधन के प्रवक्ता गौरव भाटिया जो भाजपा को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं यहां पे उनकी बात का जवाब दे रहा हूं आप दस बार घमंडिया बोलो मैं तो नहीं टोक रहा हूं आपको इसलिए मुझे अपनी बात प्लीज कहने दीजिए अब अब अगली बात पे चला जाता हूं वो छोड़ते हैं पुरानी बात आनंद डॉक्टर साहब है रंगनाथन जी बिल्कुल उस पिक्चर के डायलॉग की तरह है जैसे गेंदा जी नहीं भावनाओं में बह गए थे वैसे आथर महोदय भावनाओं में बह गए बीजेपी की बात करते करते थोड़ा धैर्य रखो उत्तर प्रदेश में बेहतरीन गठबंधन होगा कांग्रेस के साथ सम्मानजनक सीटों के साथ गठबंधन होगा आप परेशान मत होइए अभी और ज्यादा परेशान होंगे तो आप कभी वही हाल हो जाएगा जो गेंदा भैया का हो गया था इतना भावनाओं में मत बहा करिए आप एक लेखक हैं लेखक अच्छी बात करता है तो जाहिर सी बात हम लोगों को भी समझ में आती है लेकिन आप अनावश्यक बात कर रहे हैं अब रामलहर पे आना पड़ेगा मुझे देखिए हर व्यक्ति का नजरिया अपना है किसी को रामलहर दिख रही होगी किसी को नहीं दिख रही होगी अब चश्मा एक क्वालिटी का अगर होगा नविका जी तब उसमें वही दिखेगा जैसे हम मल्टीप्लेक्स में जाते हैं तो जानते हैं एक हॉल में दूसरी पिक्चर दूसरे में ती, दूसरी तीसरे में तीसरी चौथे में चौथी लेकिन क्या एक हॉल में बैठ के सारी पिक्चर दिखाई पड़ जाएंगी क्या सबको नहीं दिखा सकती हैं तो बीजेपी को राम बिल्कुल नहीं दिख रही है। बिल्कुल नहीं दिखाई पड़ेंगी नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं दिखाई पड़ेंगी और मनोज यादव जी इस पॉइंट पर मुझे इजाजत दे अभी क्यों क्योंकि मैं मैं इसी पॉइंट पर सवाल पूछना चाहती हूँ इसीलिए बीच में टोक रही हूँ ये शशि थरूर जी की एक पिक्चर आई है वो आर्च बिशप के साथ है अब वो तो आपको सेक्युलर लगेगा लेकिन राम मंदिर जाने से आपको पॉलिटिकल फंक्शन कम्युनल फंक्शन लगता है अब ये चश्मा कौन सा पहनते हैं हमारा चश्मा तो गलत है ये आपने सिद्ध कर दिया आपका चश्मा कौन सा है वो हमें बता दीजिए नाविका मेरे मेरा नाम लिया गया था देखिए ये संविधान हमें इजाजत देता है कि हम अरे रुक जा भाई हम कह रहे हैं संविधान हमको ये इजाजत देता है हम पादरी के प्रोग्राम में जाएं पादरी जी के बहुत के प्रोग्राम में जाएं हम पारसी जी के प्रोग्राम में जाएं हम जैनियों के प्रोग्राम में जाएं जहां जाना होगा हम जाएंगे और बीजेपी के प्रोग्राम में हम क्यों जाएंगे भाई ये बताइए बीजेपी का प्रोग्राम था कि भगवान राम का प्रोग्राम था वो तो बीजेपी का प्रोग्राम था वहां पर तो मोदी दिखाई पड़ रहे थे और कोई कैमरा किसी पे था ही नहीं बेचारे महान थे हमारे उत्तर प्रदेश के गोरखपुर मंदिर के महान थे गोरखनाथ जी के वो तो कम दिखाई पड़ रहे थे उत्तर प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री भी हैं तो हम बीजेपी के प्रोग्राम के लिए थोड़ी नहीं बने यहाँ पे हमारा इंडिया अलायंस है भाई क्या आप मुझे बोलने देंगे नहीं बोलने देंगे मुझे बोलने भी दिक्कत है क्या आपको मैं तो आपको धैर्य पूर्वक सुना आपका टेम्परामेंट इतना लूज है क्या थोड़ा सा धैर्य धीरज रखो आधे मिनट में बात खत्म करके आपको ही बोल जी आप जवाब दीजिए नहीं नहीं ना, नाविका ये मनोज जी के आनंद जी आप जवाब दीजिए नहीं नहीं नाविका ये मनोज जी के मैं बहुत पसंद करता हूँ ये इतना टिपिकल है भाई हम इतने टिपिकल नाम उत्तर प्रदेश वाले लोग नहीं बढ़ते हैं ना हम यूपी वाले लोग इसी नाम रखते नाम। हैं राम मनोरथ राम तीरथ राम बच्चन राम नीना लोटन राम सारे इस तरह के नाम हम लोग रखते हैं राम रंगनाथम अब इतना टिपिकल नाम हमारे यहाँ नहीं रखा जाता है बस करिए राम बोलना श्याम बोलेंगे क्या अच्छा चलिए मनोज यादव जी नहीं 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 नामों का कंपटीशन नहीं है और अगर नहीं रखा जाता तो पढ़ाई कर सकते हैं अपने देश के बारे में थोड़ा और जान सकते हैं और इस तरह के नाम बोलने की आदत डाल सकते हैं पर वो आप नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि आप आपको दूसरों को नीचे दिखाना है लेकिन मनोज यादव जी अच्छी आदत नहीं है आनंद रंगनाथन जी जवाब दीजिए ना 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 मुझे पता नहीं अरे आप बंद करो भाई और नीचा हमको दिखाया जा रहा है 
अरे बंद करिए बंद करिए तुम्हारा दिया खाते हैं क्या भैया बंद करें आप आनंद रंगनाथन जी आनंद रंगनाथन जी मनोज यादव जी प्लीज सुन लीजिए समय समय की बात बोलिए घड़ी घड़ी के सुइया चल रही हैं नाविका मैं इनको माफ करता हूँ बड़ी ये गलतियां कभी कभी हो जाती हैं बच्चों से ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है लगते बुजुर्ग हैं लेकिन इनकी उम्र 12 साल की होगी मैंने माफ अच्छा आप शांत हो जाइए अब शांत हो जाइए चलिए मेरे साथ अरे चलो भाई उम्र अरे भाई भी ना हुई और बुजुर्ग मुझे क्या दिया सर्व नहीं आ रही अरे लगते तो साठ के हो बुजुर्ग लगते साठ के रहो गोदरेज की डाइल लगा के आते हो ना सुन लो अभी सुन लो साठ का होता तो बच्चे जैसी बातें कर रहे हैं नाथन ये यादव ये डायनेस्टी के हैं क्या यादव डायनेस्टी के अच्छा मनोज जी मनोज जी मनोज जी आप आज कौन सा प्रोटीन शेक पीकर आए हैं कि आप बोलने नहीं दे रहे एक एक मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा गाड़ी को ब्रेक लगाएं थोड़ा सा गाड़ी को ब्रेक लगाएं गाड़ी हिचकोले खा रही है आपकी पहिए निकल रहे हैं जरा ब्रेक लगाए आनंद रंगनाथन जी उनकी जवाब सुन लीजिए जवाब दे रहे थे नाविका विली स्टॉप इंटरप्टिंग मी प्लीज बहुत सुन लिया इनका हाँ और ये गाड़ी नहीं है इनकी फटी हुई साइकिल है जिसका टायर पता नहीं कब से पंचर हुआ पड़ा है पर कोई बात नहीं गलती हो जाती है ऐसे मुलायम सिंह ने कहा और बची रात बची बात की रंगनाथन प्रोनाउंस नहीं कर पा रहे हैं भैया रंगनाथन उतना ही आसान या डिफिकल्ट जितना मुलायम बोलना बोलिए मुलायम बोल सकते हैं कि नहीं या भूल गए तो रंगनाथन बोलिए क्योंकि रंगनाथन इज द कुल देव भगवान राम समझ में आई बात हर बात को थोड़ा समझिए बारह उम्र के बच्चे की तरह आपकी जो सोच है ना इसको बदलिए लगते साठ साल के हैं डाई करा के आ गए बाल नाउ नाविका द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज दैट अखिलेश यादव इज इन द सेम बोर्ड एज राहुल गांधी दो नोट आ रहे नाविका कम से कम अपने चेहरा तो देखो से कहा हमारे कहलाता है चुसा हुआ हम समझते है ना मनोज टाइप का मनोज मनोज यादव एंड आनंद रंगनाथन लेट्स मेरे मेरे अगर बालों के डाइट पे बात करोगे तो पर्सनल घर तक भेज के आऊंगा आपको समझ लेना मैं सुन सुनोगे पीछे नहीं रहता आनंद हो चाहे दुख रंगनाथन हो हमें से फर्क नहीं पड़ता तुम दुखद रंगनाथन हो इस देश का दुख हो उठा लिया इस देश की तकलीफ हो रंगनाथन ने कहा से उठा के लाया बंटाधार रंगनाथन हो आप बता रहे ध्यान रखो भैया इतने गुंडा इत... मैंने तो कोई ऐसा वाले गुंडा कर दी मत करो बुलडोजर चल जाएगा घर पे क्या हुआ मेरी बात बुलडोजर चल जाएगा बुलडोजर यादव जी रंगनाथन जी काम डाउन मुझे लगता है मुझे लगता है आप आप दोनों आप दोनों मेच्योर लोग हैं काइंडली काइंडली काम डाउन पर्सनल रिमार्क पर्सनल रिमार्क्स नहीं मैं मैं आप लोग जब तक थोड़े से ठंडे होते हैं मैं आशुतोष जी से पूछती हूँ आशुतोष जी के पास मैं अब तक जा नहीं पाई हूँ मुझे वो अलग डांट देंगे आशुतोष जी आप हंस रहे हैं तो हंसते रहेगा मुझे डांटिएगा मत मैं देर से आपके पास आ रही हूँ बट सवाल ये है कि ये ये मुद्दे राम लहर के किसी को समझ नहीं आ रहे अलायंस के समझ नहीं आ रहे और बीच में जंग छिड़ गई है कांग्रेस को तृणमूल में अलग जंग है आम आदमी पार्टी के साथ अलग जंग है और यहां आनंद रंगनाथन जी के साथ समाजवादी पार्टी की अलग जंग शुरू हो गई ये, ये हो क्या रहा है आशुतोष जी आप... मुझे आपको डांटना तो पड़ेगा क्योंकि ये जो इतना शानदार शो चल रहा था आपने खाम खा मेरे जैसे आदमी को उसमें डाल दिया मैं तो बहुत ही ड्राई आदमी मेरे पास तो कोई सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर भी नहीं है तो आई थिंक यू शुड हैव कंटिन्यू विद आनंद रंगनाथन एंड मैन मनोज मनोज यादव यू शुड डू अ होल शो ऑन दिस दैट विल दैट इज गोइंग टू ब्रेक ऑल रिकॉर्ड इट विल गो वायरल खैर बट द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज दैट इफ देर इज अ राम वेब द बीजेपी शुड बी हैप्पी इफ देर इज नो राम वेब द समाजवादी पार्टी एंड द कांग्रेस शुड बी हैप्पी माई माई जॉब इज इज टू इज टू एनालाइज दिस थिंग and i could i could see that what is happening around it the bjp is trying to build a meta narrative around ram ram uh, ram mandir and if the india gathbandhan has a counter narrative they should go ahead with that as of now i don't see that counter narrative emerging right now and what is happening is they are basically discussing the politics of optics if mamta banerjee is a part of india india gathbandhan and she said that she is going alone in in bengal where she should ideally have an alliance with the, with the congress party or any any alliance if, if, if there is a in, india india gathbandhan if at all exists over there she is saying that there will be no gathbandhan in, in bengal but there will be alliance all over the, all over the india it doesn't work like that if amadi party has a problem in punjab i can understand because in punjab in, in even 
I am of the opinion that the Ahmadi Party and the Congress should not be in an alliance. Because Congress is the principal opposition and the Bij and Ahmadi Party is in the government. If they are into the alliance, then the, where where the, the things will move? And obviously the, the opposition space will be occupied by somebody and that will damage in the long run with the Ahmadi Party, the Congress both. But what I see today is that uh, things are not healthy in the in India Gadbandan. Maybe after two days or three days the things changes. I do not know that. Well, Smita, Smita, alliance hai bhi nahi bhi. Bengal mein nahi hai, outside Bengal it is there. Uh, you know, Samajwadi party takes strict objection, uh, uh, you know, to, to the fact that uh, BJP event is Ram Mandir. Can't they see the 5 lakh people who are going day after day? Can't they see the queues of people? Can't they see the people coming from all over the world, coming from different states, from south, from north, from east, from west? What are they in denial of? Are they in denial of, you know, the Ram cord that has been touched? Are they in denial of the problems within their alliance? And if they are in denial of all of this, what does this mean for them in the forthcoming election? I think uh, what they are scared of most importantly is something which they keep uh, talking in their meetings, which is political Hindutva. They don't want that same uh, uh, Hindutva way which they keep referring to during the Advani era. So they don't want that to happen again. But then I think uh, they're misreading a whole host of uh, issues. They're misleading uh, <clears throat> that if they think that uh, the Ram temple is only something which is uh, which was built for a political cause, there's much more to this. And as we get closer to the elections, I think the fissures in the India alliance are becoming like major rifts and it looks like it's heading for a breakdown because the ego issues are so much. I doubt whether they'll be able to paper through this. Maybe an India alliance will come together after in a post election scenario if they need it. But both Mamta and Congress party, I think they've gone, uh, both of them today uh, saying that the other is helping the BJP. That's like taking it to the ultimate, you know, and BJP has set a target of winning 35 Lok Sabha seats out of 42 in Bengal. So I think the more this India Alliance fight happens, the more it benefits the BJP. That's like common knowledge. And Congress has a poor strike rate, not just in Bengal, but everywhere else. But they bargain very hard. So the JDU uh, and the RJT, they are not going to agree, to, I think, to what the Congress wants. They want just one seat in Bihar and now they want 10. The left parties uh, uh, want 12 out of 40 in Bihar. Who's going to give it? Uh, and, you know, uh, the TMC and the Congress want, uh, they're saying that 300 uh, in different places. Who will they give in Kerala? You know, in, in every place. And Akhilesh True. is not going to agree in Uttar Pradesh at all. The Congress might as well just give up Uttar Pradesh. Well, so if they're giving up Uttar Pradesh, they're giving up Bengal, they're giving up Punjab, they're giving up Kerala, then that's 150, 170 seats gone. So what are they going to walk away with? I don't know, but... Uh, before Go. before I conclude the debate, Manoj Yadav ji, sab thik thak hai. Navika, I want to make a point about Dr. Tharoor. Nishit taur pe sab kuch thik hai. Aur bai to ek hi baat kahunga Navika ji. Ki Uttar Pradesh mein India Alliance hoga. Aur jun istito pe aas sawaal hai chai Punjab ho, Delhi ho, ya Paschim Mangal ho. In pe bhi kisi tarikhe ka koi problem nahi hai. सीट्स ने तो चाहे वो कांग्रेस का हो या टीएमसी का हो या समाजवादी पार्टी का हो या आप पार्टी का हो सभी मिलके बेहतर तरीके से इसका सलूशन निकालेंगे क्योंकि ममता जी ने कहा है और आप पार्टी ने भी कहा है कि दे आर पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया अलायंस ओके एनडीए के नहीं है वो पार्ट ऑफ अलायंस ऑल राइट ऑल राइट कमिंग यू गौरव तहसीन फर्स्ट तहसीन नाविका तहसीन yeah, Navika, you showed pictures of Dr. Tharoor in a church. There's nothing wrong going in a church, as Madhuj Bhai said. I can show you hundreds of pictures of Dr. Tharoor in a temple. The fact of the matter is, India leaders go to temples, mosques, churches, gurudwaras, and Congress leaders were there at the Pran Pratista. The question is the way it's framed. I'll tell you what Manoj Bhai and I are objected to. As a Congress... And, as a BJP has shown that picture. As a Congress and... Tassin Bhai, that picture will be shown. That chasma is not against it. Can I, can I, can I ask you, Navika Ji? The Honourable well, President was invited. Chief well, Chief well, well, I'm Chief completely Chief. out of time. I'm completely out of time. 20 seconds to you, Gaurav Bhatia, for the final comment. 
Yeah, uh, Anand Bhai, uh, I wish to apologize to you again creating North India, South India divide. But let me tell you one thing. Aapko to Genda ka fool bulaya. Inke ghar mein to adhyaksh tactics ka fool hai. Aur sabse badi baat hai, imagine if Ranganathan is so tough, what would happen to them if they have to pronounce Vishweshwaraya? Ye to Rahul Gandhi ki class hai. But for the UP state, I would like to say 80 out of 80 seats. Bharatiya Janta Party will win in UP. 350 ah, seats so plus. All Alone right, Bharatiya all Janta right. Party well, will well, well let's <laughs> wait. Let's wait and watch. Uh, it's all it's all unfolding in front of our eyes. Uh, what's going to happen in the elections? Uh, if uh, this is the manner in which the India Alliance progresses, uh, well, we'll uh, put the jury out for that. Thank you very much to all my guests for joining me on debate number one. On